Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to my character profile series. This one's going to be about Blackwall, the Noble Grey Warden. Unlike many of the other companions in Dragon Age Inquisition, not much is known about Blackwall. He has not been talked about much by the developers, however, there is information on the official Dragon Age website with a character profile of him. This is what the blurb reads. The Grey Wardens hold a lonely vigil, enduring lives of hardship and sacrifice to protect the world from an evil that can never truly be conquered. Few would volunteer for this, the suffering, isolation and the promise of a violent death. But the path of a warden is also one of valour, and those who give themselves to the cause are rewarded with the knowledge that they have become something more than they were. Blackwall is one of the rare wardens who chose, of his own accord, to pick up the shield. He believes so wholeheartedly in the noble ideal of the Grey Wardens that, that he would rather have this life than any other. There is more information about Blackwall's background. On the Dragon Age wiki, it reads, Blackwall is a highly committed warden, not only content but proud of the lives of isolation and valour those in his order lead. In that isolation comes the knowledge that you have become something more than you were, and it is that noble ideal which made Blackwall one of the few to choose, of his own accord, to undergo the joining. He prefers the life of a warden to any other. At the time of the Fifth Blight, in 930 of the Dragon Age, Blackwall was stationed in Valshevin and held the post of Warden Constable. He was strongly and vocally opposed to the decision by Tern Logan to close the Ferelden borders and exile the Grey Wardens. For those unaware, Valshavin is in Ole. It is northeast of Valrayo. Blackwall's background actually tells us a lot about his character. As we can see, Blackwall joined the Grey Wardens of his own accord. What could this mean? I believe this means that he is a selfless person and wants to protect the world from the Blight, however he can. If Blackwall is in fact a selfless character, we can speculate how he will join the Inquisition. The main reason for becoming a Grey Warden is to protect the world from the Blight. However, Blackwall was unable to protect the world from the Fifth Blight, as Tern Loghain closed the borders to Ferelden and exiled the Grey Wardens. Also in the passage, it states that Blackwall is a Warden Constable, therefore he must have been in the Grey Wardens for quite a long time. Blackwall must have been recruited many years before the Fifth Blight, therefore he has not actually saved the world from any blights as he was not able to help in the Fifth. This could lead Blackwall to believe that he has not achieved his goal as a Grey Warden, therefore in 940 of the Dragon Age he could join the Inquisition to prove himself. Fighting off the demons and saving Thedas As Blackwall was eager to join the Grey Wardens, he could have joined them when he came of age. If we look closely at Blackwall, he could be in his mid 40s or 50s, therefore he's been a Grey Warden for maybe 30 years. What could this mean? It could mean his calling is approaching. Blackwall may fear his calling and fear the fact that he has not saved the world, therefore he must join the Inquisition to save Thedas from the demon invasion. If Blackwall is nearing his calling, this could lead to some interesting interactions with him and Dragon Age Inquisition. This could mean that Blackwall could leave during the events of Dragon Age Inquisition to go on his calling, however this is unknown. Please take into consideration that this is all speculation and none of this has been proven. In promotional pictures for Dragon Age Inquisition, Blackwall has been described as the Resolver. Cheryl Shee wrote Blackwall's character, and in an interview about Blackwall, the interviewer asked her, what was it like for you writing this character for Inquisition? She responded by saying, I had a great deal of fun writing Blackwall, at least part of it, asking why someone might find the, the Grey Wardens appealing, why choose to be part of that, a heroic sacrifice is still a sacrifice, what sort of person could decide that dying for something is better than just living? And I would love to say more, but I won't. Ask me again in October. Unfortunately, we'll now have to ask her again in November. Now let's think about how Blackwall will play gameplay-wise. Obviously, he is a two-handed warrior. What specialisation could he have? Templar, Berserker, Reaver, Champion? Or do you think he'll have his rare Grey Warden specialisation? Whatever you guys think, comment down below. As always guys, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, see ya, hope you enjoyed the video.